When you buy your Kinesis currencies through our app or e-wallet, you instantly purchase real gold or silver secured in one of our seven partner vaults situated all around the world. These vaults store your precious metals for you, completely free of charge. Your precious metal is then digitalized using blockchain technology, allowing you to send it to other Kinesis wallets, trade it on the Kinesis blockchain exchange, or spend it easily and freely using our Kinesis debit card. Each transaction, whether in or out of your account, simply adds or detracts from the amount of gold or silver in your account, which is easily displayed and accessed through your wallet. These transactions are done in nanoseconds, and the Kinesis currency you own can be transferred back into real gold or silver any time you want. We'll even deliver it to you. The Kinesis wallet and debit card runs off the stellar blockchain, a system so powerful, no matter how many transactions are being made across the world, you know your payments will be made quickly, safely, and securely. So who are we? Why should you trust us? We're founded by ABX, the world's leading electronic exchange for physical precious metals, a company entrenched in the industry and with knowledge, expertise and experience that has been built the best part of a decade. We're at the forefront of making history and redefining how physical bullion is traded and used as a functional currency which also pays you a yield. Currencies are volatile and with a market that fluctuates up and down so often, why not use Kinesis currencies based on some of the safest commodities on Earth? Gold and silver. Kinesis pays you a monthly return in gold and silver simply for storing your precious metals with us, free of charge. When you purchase the gold and silver stored in our vaults, we create a digital record of your physical holdings. This way, the Kinesis Money Platform lets you easily manage your gold and silver anywhere in the world and even spend your medals instantly with the Kinesis Visa Card. All the while, earning a passive yield. Anytime Kinesis gold or silver is bought, traded, or spent with Kinesis anywhere in the world by anyone, a percentage is paid into your account each month. Between October 2020 and October 2021, the yield return was 6.99%, paying out over $2.8 million to our clients simply for holding their metals with us. Why accept precious metals services that charge you? Preserve and build your wealth with Kinesis Money. What is a yield? A Kinesis yield was put in place to overcome a fundamental law of money called Gresham's Law. Gresham's Law states that bad money will drive out good money. This happens with gold and paper currency. Because the perceived value and nature of gold is seen as good money, people are more likely to hold it and save it and spend their less valued paper currency instead. Digitizing gold and incentivizing its use with our unique yield system defeats Gresham's law and drives mass adoption. Kinesis gives a yield or return on the Kinesis currencies in the form of fee sharing. We call this a fee sharing yield. Kinesis takes a small percentage fee for loading KAU onto your debit card, sending to other Kinesis wallets, and an even lower percentage fee on all transactions done via the Kinesis Exchange. All of these fees are collected and go into what we call the Master Fee Pool, and are then distributed back to our customers in various proportions. We have five various yields in Kinesis, we have one for the people who want to bring larger quantities of gold and silver into the system, which we call minting. Purchase gold or silver via the Kinesis Mint or Exchange, and there's an associated minter's yield. We have one for people who purchase gold and silver, KAU and KAG, to hold it in their account, rather than spending. This triggers our holder's yield, similar to a savings account or investment account. Just like any other program in the world, we want to encourage use Therefore, we reward people for inviting friends, family or colleagues with a referrer yield. This helps create the adoption of the system and helps people spread the word with a reward. Next, we have a depositor's yield, which is designed to give people a reward on their first deposit in the system as an incentive to get started. Finally, we have the most powerful yield in the Kinesis system, the KVT or Kinesis Velocity Token Yield. 
which is the largest fee-sharing yield pool offered, and KVTs are capped to the 300,000 tokens that will ever be issued. The Velocity Yield The Velocity Yield incentivizes the spending and trading of Kinesis currencies, KAU and KAG, rewarding users with a return of gold and silver based on their transactional activity with Kinesis. Simply put, every time someone buys, sells or spends KAU or KAG, they'll be rewarded with fully allocated gold and silver, paid directly into their account each month. The Velocity Yield accounts for 10% of the master fee pool. It's calculated and distributed monthly to customers based on their spending and trading activity. The more you spend or trade, the higher your share from the 10% of the master fee pool. Let's pretend there are only three customers using Kinesis to spend or trade. If one month the master fee pool was 1000 KAU, then the velocity yield pool would be 10% of that. If Tim had spent 150 KAU on his debit card, Sarah sold 100 KAU and Owen purchased 50 KAU, then the total velocity generated that month would have been 300 KAU. This means Tim is entitled to 50% of the Velocity Yield Pool, with a 33.33% share for Sarah and 16.67% for Owen. The Velocity Yield gives you a unique return, in addition to the many advantages of buying, trading and spending precious metals, paid in fully allocated physical gold and silver each and every month. The Kinesis Debit Card John has just ordered his debit card via the Kinesis Money platform. Within a few days, it's been delivered to his doorstep. Before John can start spending, he must load his card. Using our online platform, Kinesis Money, in just a few clicks, John can simply and easily convert his fiat or cryptocurrencies into KAU and KAG. Once converted to fiat using the exchange, he's ready to top up his card and can begin to spend Kinesis currencies anywhere in the world that accepts Visa. By converting all his currencies into KAU and KAG, John now holds all his money in physical gold and silver and is now open to all the benefits of the Kinesis system. Every time John swipes his debit card, zero transaction fees occur there's only a small 0.22% to 0.44% top-up fee incurred when loading the card initially. By digitalizing precious metals, Kinesis can measure and track all the transactions and fees globally and what your proportionate ownership and entitlement to all fees we collect are, giving you a fee-sharing yield that's paid monthly in gold and silver into your Kinesis wallet. Furthermore, as Kinesis does not charge any storage fees for holding your gold and silver, Kinesis can become a far better choice to use as money over traditional currency and a superior method of holding precious metals. Kinesis rewards its users when they spend, send and buy and sell on the Kinesis exchange. These rewards accumulate over a lifetime and can generate a passive income. This makes transacting with Kinesis a more attractive offering than many forms of money available in the world today. Today I'm going to just take you through a little bit of a tour on the new user interface, new and improved, um, to help everybody navigate and uh, trade physical gold, physical silver and cryptocurrency easily and simply. Uh, I'm going to take you through a bit of the design features we've added to uh, make the exchange a lot more user friendly and accessible. So first of all, we've reduced a new menu in the Kinesis Money platform here on the left to actually give us more space you know, for the trading window. And on the top here, we have an information bar which can quickly give you the information you need on any pair uh, at the blink of an eye. So ultimately what we've taken is the bid and ask depth from the order book and created a very, very simple bid ask depth in the information panel so you can see exactly what's going on and what the spread is on any pair at any one time. We've also added the feature of the open, high, low and close price so you can see you know, where the market's opened, uh, where it's closed, what the highs are, and obviously the 24 hour percentage change in price from the previous period. This is a daily percentage change, which runs from 1700 central time to 1700 central time and resets. We've taken that based off of the COMEX closing period so that we can actually line up with the uh, price of metal that sits there and everyone's used to. 
The 24 hour volume here also runs from 1700 to 1700 CT. So it means that the trading volume you're seeing here would be from that 1700 central time and then it would close and reset uh, in 24 hours or daily uh, at 1700 central time. We've also moved over the settings panel to the top right so you can actually have your profile window uh, easily accessible in line with good practice and UI so that you can get to all of your information very quickly and very easily. You can click it on, click it off, or just click off screen to close the window. So let's just quickly come down to the market pairs edition we've added. Rather than having market pairs listed on a separate window, we've brought them into the exchange. You can hide the panel by simply hiding by clicking change market and then make the panel reappear again. In the panel, what we've done is we've added the pair, the annotation to the pair, the 24 hour volume so you can see exactly what's going on volume wise across the exchange, and then the price, which is pulled in from the current mid price between bid and ask. It gives you just a snapshot on where the book is without even having to look. So we can look right now at the mid price all the way down the line here and see where everything is currently priced in our order book. And again, we've brought the percentage change of the market into, you can see 11% here, uh, plus 11% and plus 11% here. You can see the percentage change and that is the percentage that gold is up against the US dollar in the 24 hour period. So moving away from the market pairs, um, we have the order book and in the order book, you can see that we have the available depth. You can scroll down on that depth, see what's going on. And obviously the top level of depth here would be 5426 per gram of gold. That's the bid depth and then the ask depth. So we have uh, limit orders in here that are filling up the order book and then we're obviously displaying that here. So we've also added a new depth chart. The depth chart will show exactly what's happening with volume against the buy and the sell side. We have the buy side here, the depth on the buy side and the depth on the sell side. And you can actually start to now analyze the market from the mid price and see where the actual sell walls are and the buy walls are um, to give you a little bit of an indication on what's going on. Within the order book as well, so whenever I've got an order, so I've placed an order here, I want to buy one KAU at 5371. So what it's doing is it's indicating my order on my book uh, against the order depth, okay? So you can see where your order sits in the current order book. Uh, very easily, you know, we've brought the open orders into the actual trading screen now, so you can easily cancel them. And, and you can see exactly what's going on. The order history now is shown again in a tab on the side and it will show all your order history here, what was filled, what was canceled, buy and sell on what pairs, um, all the information you need. There is actually a little arrow here which will just show you uh, a little bit more detailed on the time it was executed, quantity price, and obviously here, if you click it, will actually take you to a trade confirmation sell. This is uh, basically your invoice or your trade confirmation that you can actually use to you know, keep all your trades organized and to keep your accounting in, in order. So coming back to our trade screen. So here we have actually um, uh, redesigned the way the order screen works. So you've got just a top down view with all the information you need in one easy place right next to your charting. So you can see what's going on in the market here can see your pricing and then we can actually see for a limit order or on a buy limit order I can swap to sell very easily. A function that you might want to take note of is if the bid depth here the top level of depth is 54.26 and I want to buy a limit order I can just click this and it will populate the price. So now I can say okay I want to buy one KAU at that price. Uh, I click on the screen type my one in it'll automatically calculate the total value or I can go the opposite way and say, well, I want to spend $100 or $1,054 and it will reverse calculate how much quantity is needed there. We also can bring in, based on the amount of funds you have in your account, which you can see my available balance in this instance is 306, I can actually just bring 25% of the value straight in and it will back calculate against that bid price and show me how much KAU that I will get. I can move it up to 50%, 75%, or choose to bring the full 100% in. You can see here, in this instance, the KAU is the fee. It'll give me the total to receive 
and you'll notice the total to receive is a little less than the quantity I'm buying because the fee is obviously one, uh, 0 0.1241 KAU. It'll calculate the total to the max and I can place my order. Same on the sell side. If I want to go on the R step here on the, on the sell side, I can just click, it'll bring the price in, but this time it's going to let me bring in my total of balance of KAU to sell. In this instance, I don't have any KAU to sell, but let me take you over to the KAG screen where I have some KAG there for the demo. And now I'm going to go to a sell order, 25%, and it will bring 25% of my KAG. It's just a good way to say if you've got 100% of your holdings, this is just an easy way for you to quickly bring in the balance, especially if the market's moving fast. I can then bring it against my values and it will automatically calculate. Okay. Um, we also have the fees here and obviously total to receive. So it's just a really, really intuitive interface that works both ways for you, no matter what you're doing. On the market order side, remember more market orders are executed against the available depth. So uh, the pricing is indicative because if the depth is moving fast, uh, it might get filled and it might fill up the next one. Or if you're, uh, if we only have one KAG in here and you're ordering 200, but there's 200 at this price, it'll fill here and then it will fill down the book. So be aware with market order, limit order is a way to set the price. A market order, you're gonna be pulling from the depth and then easily for market order, I can just bring my KAG in uh, on a sell order. I can sell at that price, place my order, and it will execute. We brought the recent orders uh, straight down underneath so you can see exactly what's going on. Here you can see with KAG, you can see all the recent orders um, and the timestamps to go with them. So this is just a really, really handy tool for you to actually see what's going on as far as recent executed orders is concerned. And that basically concludes us with the exchange trade interface itself. So now I'm gonna walk you over to the, the charts. Basically, we have uh, enhanced the user interface for the charts themselves. We have integrated trading view charting. So the fluency uh, and ease and accessibility of the charting has, has greatly improved. We have a whole host of features within the charts, including uh, drawing tools, Fibonacci's, pitchforks, all of the things you would need for trading analysis and technical analysis. Uh, we have a whole bunch of drawing tools on here as well, which you can use, and a whole list of indicators. The indicators here, uh, you know, whether it's moving averages, Bollinger Bands, anything you want, um, we have a really, really good range of indicators here that you can use including volumes, so you can actually start to get some technical analysis happening on the charts. So from there, we have created the ability to be able to hide panels. You see the arrows through here. I can start to make my chart bigger by pulling it down here by hiding off my order history and hiding off my depth and order book. Um, I can choose to have one or both of them open and we can easily make it full screen just by clicking this button here. So just some easy, quick you know, tools here to get you into full screen mode. We've even given you the ability to, to hide the order panel here, make it full screen, so you can actually start to have a look at your chart in, in full screen mode. You can then bring your markets into here, and now we have just a clean interface where you've just got your markets, your full range of tools, your indicators are right there, and you can actually see everything that's going on. All of the charts are responsive. You can scroll with your mouse, zoom in and out. Um, you'll notice the chart data in this demo is you're seeing long tails. Here we are uh, actually bringing more and more data in as the exchange grows and you'll start to see these charts normalize um, significantly and start to look very, very normal. Um, this is something that will just take a little, a few weeks to sort of normalize as the data starts to flow in. Okay, so we've also added a, another feature here that I'd like to make everybody aware of. Um, it is on the deposit function of the uh, Kinesis uh, money platform itself. So if you come back out into accounts, um, you'll come to deposit. So if you select your currency, whether it be US dollars, AED, AUD, you'll see the I-band changing. And as we go through Canadian dollars, yen, GBP, you now have the ability to load your GBP to this address here. You use the IBAN first bank address. You put in the bank account details. You normally would do a transfer with GBP to this address. They will convert it to US dollars and then fund your account. It's quick, it's seamless. 
Uh, the percentage fees are no more than you would pay uh, with currency conversion anywhere else. Um, and it's just a simple way for you to get access to all of your currencies um, and a, a wide range of deposit currencies immediately. We've also updated for Euro as well. We've updated our Euro accounts deposit details and it's all now accessible in a dynamic format on the deposit funds screen. So this is really everything we wanted to discuss on the current user interface and what we've actually done with it. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed the session or I hope you've enjoyed the session. Um, a couple of features that we're actually integrating are the ability to edit open orders. So the ability to just to edit an open order and change the price to move in line with the book is on the way. We are introducing dark mode uh, so that you can flick between dark and light mode so you have a nice midnight blue background and it will all pop against that dark background and you'll be able to have greater accessibility for those that have trouble seeing you know more lighter fonts on white screens or if you prefer to have that dark you know the dark light coming through rather than the bright blue light we will also be having some improved features around the time frames instead of listing periodically where the bars are listed in a period what we'll have is we'll have the minutes so we'll be bringing in five minute 30 minute one hourly four hourly and one day time frames to make it easier and to give you uh, you know the things that you need as a trader or the time frames you need as a trader to be able to run your technical analysis properly and that concludes this little tour of the new kinesis user interface on the kinesis exchange thank you very much